Good afternoon, everyone. This is a news brief from News 4 New York. I'm Christopher Rosado. Today, the Tampa Bay Rowdies signed former New York Red Bulls 2 defender David Nijem to a one-year contract. Nijem says he's excited about this new opportunity. Just to further develop myself, and you know, I'm excited to, to do that uh, with a team and an organization like Tampa, uh, with an unbelievable coaching staff, you know, such a deep roster, un unbelievable fans, uh, being in a new setting, uh, being in a, you know, a new stadium, it's just going to be all new experiences, but you know, with the full motivation of all the guys getting back to work and striving for another ultimate goal of a national championship. The NFL Network has suspended three analysis named in a sexual harassment lawsuit. Bloomberg says Hall of Famer Marshall Folk, Keith Evans, and Ike Taylor have been suspended pending an investigation. Former NFL Network employee Jamie Cantor alleges Folk touched her inappropriately and Taylor sent her sexually inappropriate photos. Bloomberg did not specify the allegations against Evans. And the lawsuit also accuses former NFL Network analysis Donovan McNabb and a former executive producer of inappropriate behavior. The Nappy Girls soccer is saying goodbye to their head coach after 13 years. Kevin Mitter is stepping down and he has plenty to be proud of. His team won five straight state titles between the years of 2007 to 2011. He also led the team to eight sectional championships. This laundry list of accomplishments won't be forgotten, and his players will definitely miss him. We went under the lights Friday night for some high school football. The Clifton Mustangs were facing the North Bergen Bruins in what would be an exciting game with an extraordinary finish. Here late in the fourth quarter, junior quarterback Bryson is going to call play. It's going to be a play action to the right side. The play is going to look like it's busted, but he makes something out of nothing as he splits the defenders and finds his junior wide receiver wide open in the end zone. The Mustangs will go on to win this game 21-14. to After the game, I talked to head coach Ralph Sinke, who said, even though we're young, I expect a playoff run this season. Hi, guys. Joining me today are the 2018 Super East champion, William Patterson University men's club hockey team. We have freshman defender Brett Conan, sophomore forward Thomas Bauer, senior defender Corey Sala, and forward Kyle Ringheiser. Thank you guys so much for coming on, and congratulations on all the success. I mean, you guys just won the 2018 Super East champ. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. So for you seniors, can you like describe what it meant to win the championship in your final year? Um, Men's, meant a lot. Um, we played there the last four years. Uh, we've only won one, so, or before this year, only won one. Uh, it means a lot. It's our second one as a group of seniors, but first one with this team. So, uh, yeah, it means a lot. That's really great. And, Corey, you also helped the ACHA Hockey U.S. Select team to a silver medal. Tell me a little bit about your experience in Europe. Uh, Europe was a uh, DJ, Sabato, Sean LaCourt, and I all represented our school there. Uh, we went to five different countries, Norway, Poland, uh, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Hungary. Uh, it was a great time, and uh, it was, yeah, a lot of guys from all over the country. It was a great experience. That's awesome. And Kyle, Brett, you guys are the future of the program. What did you learn from this year's seniors? I mean, I've been playing for two years now, and just I know that we just have a great group of guys playing with us, and our seniors and our captains are just great leaders and they just always prove like show us the right way to be on the ice and off the ice and they're just great leadership was quality. there any special uh, message or song you know like the Philadelphia Eagles that really like pumped <coughs> you guys up before games or what was the atmosphere like <laughs> we do uh, before the playoff game in senior night we did a, a wiki uh, song it's, it's a, a it's a chant it's a, it's a chant, chant. Yeah. it's a Samoan uh, I mean, uh, let's hear a little bit of it. Come on, you no, can't, you oh, can't no, mention no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, no. It's something that stays in the No, Carb dancing to uh, oh, I'm Coming Out yeah, by yeah, Diana Ross. We do that, Diana Ross. So it's a very loose atmosphere in the yeah, locker yeah, room. Yeah, but really. then, like, once warm-ups, once we start walking out, it's like everyone's super focused. And, like, Sal kind of sets a tempo of, like, everyone be focused. And Sal, just, his work ethic just kind of always gets everyone going and focused, ready to go. That's awesome. Now this program is still a club team at William Patterson. It just moved from Division I from Division II, so congratulations on that. But why is the program still club and not a university program? Well, this is our last year in Division II. Next year, everyone else is moving up to D1. Um, it's not a NCAA program because it's hard with funding. Um, 
we don't really have a rink on campus. It, although our rink's very close, um, you need a rink on campus and uh, you need an even amount of female and male sports. And I don't see any, a lot of, there's not female hockey's not. So you have the thing. support from the president of the university. Um, so it seems like the school's behind you, it's just there's a lot of technicalities to it that's holding you guys back at the moment. Yeah, exactly. And you know, joining the league is tough too, so. So now you guys do a lot of fundraising because you pay out of pocket to play. Um, what are some of the events you guys have? And maybe you can take this one. Yeah, um, we have every October, our team will meet up on campus as long as everybody else who wants to participate, whether it be sororities, frats, or other sports teams, we do the breast cancer walk. And we'll, we'll go around, walk around campus, as well as right now we're in the mix of putting together a fundraiser for our team specifically. On um, just like a local restaurant, you pay a certain amount, it goes towards our team, and you eat how much, however, however much food you can. And then we use that funding to go towards nationals or something as that matters, so it helps with the funds. Well, congratulations, guys. You did an amazing job this year. You're the Super East champions. Let it soak in a little bit. You could go party a little later. You guys were resilient. Um, when we come back, though, we're going to test out your tr sports trivia knowledge with Landon. I don't know how good you guys are going to be, but <laughs> stay tuned. Well, college basketball season is back, and the William Patterson girls started off the season with a loss. But they've bounced back, winning games against Gallette University and Emmanuel College. After going 14-12 and 12 last season, they are hoping to keep their winning ways going tonight. They face Ramapo University at 5.30 in Mawa. Good luck, ladies. Well, now, Simone, let's take a look at the weather. A cold shock is coming tonight, and temperatures are going to plummet to below freezing. So you're going to want to put on that parka as we head into Thursday and Friday as well. A little bit of a warm-up on Saturday and more bearable weather next week. That's right. And for more on these stories and all of your local headlines, stay connected all day with the News 4 New York app. I'm Simone Dixon. And I'm Christopher Rosado. Have a great day. And now for a live look at the weather, let's check in with Chris Rosado at Garrett Mountain. What's it like out there, Chris? Hey guys, I'm with Tequila's beautiful horse behind me and Hannah and we're at Elite Equine Group horseback riding here at Garrett Mountain. It is a beautiful day. As you can see, the sun is behind me and temperatures are still in the low 60s right now, but we're going to get up to 76 later on the day. Some of the surrounding areas right now, Morristown, Jefferson, uh, still uh, around the low 50s. We're going to get up to 70. Though. That's the good news. Let's get to the five-day forecast because it's going to be a perfect week to ride some of these horses here. They're open six days a week. Uh, except for Monday, so make sure to get down here. Uh, Wednesday, it's 82 degrees. Thursday, 84. Friday, 82. And Saturday, 75 degrees. Guys, it is a beautiful week, so if you love horses as much as me, you're going to want to get down to Elite Equine Group. Hannah, really quick, tell somebody uh, something a little about this place to get them down here. Well, we offer uh, different riding lessons for ages 6 all the way up to older. We have some people in their 70s. We do birthday parties, camps, um, pony rides on Saturdays and Sundays. So anyone's more than welcome to come up, even if they want to just come for a walk and check out the area. We're always open. They're always open. Make sure to get down to the Lee Group, guys. Back to you in the studio.